If you were given the opportunity to create your very own fragrance from scratch, what would you make? Cue the music! and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Andrea, also known as Curly Sense, and thank you so much for stopping by because I'm so freaking happy that I can finally film this damn video. <sighs> I mean, guys, don't get me wrong, I really had lots of fun teasing you, but if I had to wait one more single day, I would have exploded. If you're watching this video right now, then you've most likely heard that I've been working on creating my own fragrance for the past year and a half. And even just saying these words right now, it seems so bizarre to me in the best way possible. You know, when I was a little girl, I will always tell my mom that I wanted three things in life. To be a singer, to have my own fragrance, and have a big house with a big garden and lots of monkeys running around. And well, now I am a professional singer, I have my own fragrance, but now that I am a little wiser these days, I think I'll leave the monkeys alone in their natural habitat. But if anyone wants to buy me a, a puppy, just saying. I know everybody's anxious to get to the meat and potatoes of this fragrance, but this is also a chance for me to show my love and gratitude to you guys, my lovely subscribers, for bringing this opportunity into my life. I started my channel a little over two years ago and the amount of support I received, even from the very first video, has been overwhelming. I come from a, a little small island over in the Mediterranean Sea and trust me when I say opportunities like this don't really come often. I know it sounds cliche but I really want to thank you all for your ongoing love because it really means the world to me. So I'm beyond excited and honored to have collaborated with the incredible fragrance brand Zaharov which was created by one of the most amazing human beings I've ever met George Zaharov. I also got to work with my partner in crime, Mr. Curly Sense, aka Anthony, who most of you already know, and two of my closest friends in the fragrance community, Justin from Stay Fresh Productions and Ross from TLTG Reviews, now known as the Z Creators. But I will speak about these fine gentlemen a little later in this video. Okay, guys, here goes nothing. The name of my fragrance is the siren and it's a name that i have been so sure about since the very very early stages of this process so what's the story behind this name well first of all i wanted to create a, a common link between george and i which is our heritage since i was born in cyprus and george is greek i wanted the entire thing to be based around greek mythology when i was little i was always fascinated by the greek mythology and more specifically by the sirens from the story of Homer's Odyssey. In a nutshell, the sirens were creatures that were half women, half birds, or mermaids in modern times, that lured sailors to their death with their sweet and enchanting song. And with that being said, you'll see how the character of the siren directly relates literally to everything about my fragrance, from the presentation to the smell and even the performance. All right, presentation. <gasps> Here it is! For me, presentation, it's so important. It's something that we put a lot of effort into. We wanted to showcase something that we think has never been done before. To me, fragrance is a beautiful art form. And I think I personally connect with it partially because I'm an artist myself. So for the box, I wanted it to be a standalone piece of art in its own sense. We worked with an insane artist from Russia who was able to turn this into this. This artwork, which is also in the form of a tarot card, basically captures the moment where the sailor is about to face his death after being lured in by the siren song. And yes, that is 100% me in the drawing and quite possibly Anthony as well. Because you know what? When you get the chance to be a mythological creature, 
You be that mythological creature. No questions asked. And of course, we had to add some ancient sirens in the back because love is in the details. And since the box is super elaborate, I knew I wanted to keep the bottle simple and classy with amber and gold tones that I think complement the fragrance perfectly. Now, onto the fragrance itself. First of all, for this project, we had the great honor of working with MAN, which is one of the most prominent fragrance labs in the world. I gotta give a shout out to my girls, Bibi and Dana, who were there with us every step of the way. First of all, for agreeing to work with us, giving us a tour of the New York lab, setting up meetings with our perfumers, shipping out our notifications, answering all of our crazy questions, and not to mention allowing us access to some of the highest quality, eco-friendly raw materials to work with. The perfumer of this fragrance is Gino Percontino, who is by no means a super well-known perfumer, but what Man actually did was pair us with somebody that they knew specialized in the type of fragrance we wanted based on our briefs. And I gotta say, I couldn't be happier to work with him. We ended up building a really great relationship through video chatting on multiple occasions, where we got to sit back, smell the notifications together, and express the directions we wanted to take. And there was a lot of smelling to do. Gino was so passionate about every rendition that he sent that he even had a specific story for each one. We were definitely on the same wavelength. And to me, that's so much more valuable than just slapping a master perfumer's name on my fragrance and just calling it a day. How's the hair looking? I'm okay. <laughs> I think by now you guys are ready to hear the notes of the fragrance. Is that right? Are you ready? Are you sure? So, for the top notes we have ginger, coriander, cardamom, and almond. In the mid, we have coffee, leather, white moss, and dark chocolate. And finally, in the base, we have patchouli, laurinox, cognac, and vetiver bourbon. Damn, does that sound good or what? <sighs> I also wanted to quickly add that the color of this juice actually had to be made lighter because this is how it looked like straight from the lab due to the high amount of naturals. Okay, so what on earth does this actually smell like? Well, it's sexy for starters. All jokes aside, to my nose, this is a masculine fragrance, unless you're Michela. Almost everyone who has smelled this so far thinks it's unisex, but for me personally, this is how I want a man to smell. The most beautiful thing about this fragrance is the two worlds that it lives in. The opening is sweet, beautiful, alluring, seductive, and seemingly innocent, just like the siren song. It's chocolatey and boozy with hints of coffee and spices, but it soon transitions into something much darker, mysterious, and deadly. You get hit by a good dose of patchouli and leather and a smoky, earthy woodiness that ultimately symbolizes the death of the sailor. And guys, let's be real. What would a curly scent fragrance be without leather? In terms of seasons and occasions, this is going to be the perfect fragrance for a night out in the fall and winter months. To me, this is a sexy, bold, and confident scent that's perfect for when you're out and about and you want to turn some heads. Just don't wear it in the office, please, and then blame me that you got fired. I also wanted to add that when I was creating this fragrance, I didn't set out to create something safe or super mass appealing. I wanted to make something that stayed true to me and my personal taste without having limitations or the pressure and idea that I need to please the masses. Some people will absolutely love this fragrance and maybe some people will think it smells terrible but that's exactly what makes fragrances so interesting because let's face it the world would be very boring if everybody loved the same things so if this sounds like your jam or you want to just support me then go for it but if it doesn't don't buy it and that's totally okay as well in terms of performance 
First of all, this is an Eau de Parfum at 18% oil concentration. Now, I did experiment with 15% and also 22%, but I felt that this particular fragrance performed the best and also smelled the best at 18%. On skin, I always get at least 10 hours of longevity with a few hours of moderate projection. Another interesting thing about the performance is that in the air, you get more of the sweet and alluring elements, but up close, you pick up more of the darker and dense notes. Just like the Siren, it does and scream off your skin, but will definitely create an irresistible and prominent scent bubble. Now let's get to some logistics. The Mula. So the pricing for the Siren will be 119 US dollars for a 60 ml bottle. Unfortunately, there won't be any samples available because this is a one batch limited run, meaning we will never bring these fragrances back after they are sold. George specifically wanted a beginning and an end to this project. So I assure you there won't be any surprise second batch video coming soon, ever, ever. With that being said, the pre-sale officially starts today. Now, like right now. So if you guys are interested in purchasing any of the three fragrances, you'll find them exclusively at the Zaharov website, which I will leave down below you know where in the box down below <laughs> so what are you waiting for run 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 <laughs> finally i just wanted to say that this has been one of the most amazing first class experiences of my life and i couldn't think of a better team to do this with man i had absolutely no idea the amount of work that goes into creating one fragrance and being able to experience every single detail that goes into it has been extremely eye-opening. I would not be able to do this without my partner, Anthony, who spent countless hours with me sniffing modifications, helping design the presentation, and even filming all of the unreal commercials that you've seen for this project. Basically, everything you see right here was created by the both of us, and it is just as much his fragrance as it is mine. And of course, my love, Mr. George Zaharov, who is truly a gem in this community and working with him was a dream come true. During these uncertain and dark times with this pandemic, he really gave us an outlet to fully create. He trusted our decisions and allowed us to take things as far as we wanted them to go without limitations. And this shines through so clearly in both Ross's and Justice Creations as well. They already know how I feel about them. And we really became a family who have been texting almost every single day for the past six months. The fragrances smell incredible, so unique, full of story and imagination, and really captures the essence of their personalities. Make sure to go and check out their announcement videos as well, if you haven't already. And I will also link their channels down in the description box. Whew. So there you have it, guys. I know that was a lot of information, but I hope I gave you everything that you needed to know about my new fragrance, The Siren, and that you were able to see that this was made with lots of love and lots of passion. I'm so, so excited to hear what you guys think of it, uh, see you wear it, and, and, and yeah, it's out now, go get it. Uh, I love you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. We did it. Yes. Craft, yes, power, yes, baby, yes. Okay, I'm done. I need, I need water. <laughs>